What's good guys, Austin here, and if you haven't already, be sure to check out my last video here where I was comparing the Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge to the newly announced S8 and S8 Plus. So I was trying to give some differences between the two versions and figure out whether or not I wanted to upgrade, but I actually found out one more feature that's actually going to be the same on both phones, and that's bringing over Bixby to the Galaxy S7. So this should work on any of the latest Galaxy phones that are running Android 7.0 Nougat or higher. So I'm thinking the S6 and higher, but right here I have the S7 Edge that I showed in my last video and I'm gonna show you guys how to get this on your phone and what that means coming from the S7 to the S8 and add a little asterisk to my last video. So like I said before, this is the, <laughs> okay. So like I said before, this is the S7 Edge and it's running Android 7.0 Nougat, which is pretty much the same thing that the Galaxy S8 is running right now at launch. So I have two links in the description to actually download the APKs for both the S8 launcher as well as Bixby. So as you can see, this is pretty much the exact same launcher that's running on the S8 and it looks pretty much like the S8 minus, you know, the curvy features like on the search bar, but this is pretty much it. So you have some nice things here. We have some badge notifications for unread messages and other med emails and other apps that use it and you can just go ahead and swipe up to get to all of your apps here so you can just swipe to the right and you can see all of the applications that are installed on your phone and you can also search on your phone um, if you want to search apps or what have you that's pretty much how you get and you can navigate places but this is pretty much the s8 right here and if you guys want to check out bixby you can actually just slide in from the left and you can see that we have bixby right here so we can go ahead and hit start and it's funny because it actually says that we should go ahead and hit the button that's under the volume keys. But of course, this is the S7 Edge, so you can only get to Bixby by swiping left from the home screen because we actually don't have that dedicated Bixby button. And this is pretty much it. So I do have to give you guys a caveat and let you know that this is not the full version of Bixby, unfortunately. You're not going to be able to use the voice uh, features on this. You're only going to be able to get these cards right here. Um, so you guys have all my information right here, my uh, schedule, my alarms and stuff. And this is pretty much all Bixby is. Honestly, it's not too useful without the voice features. So when I get my hands on an S8, I'll definitely be sure to give you guys a better hands on of the actual software. But as you can see, it is running on the S7 Edge. And with some tinkering when the S8 finally releases, I'm sure we'll have a version, a full version that we can actually run on the S Edge and not have to do any workarounds with that. So pretty much Bixby, all it is, it's sort of like Google Assistant in the sense that it gives you a bunch of cards um, next to your home screen and obviously they're Samsung based uh, but right now it's giving me a bunch of cards that just have news on them and unfortunately it's gonna ask me for a new version of briefing which is an app by Flipboard and I'm not able to update it because I'm pretty sure that is not available on the Play Store yet because the S8 hasn't actually launched but here it is Bixby's running on the S7 Edge and probably within the month we'll be able to run the full version of Bixby and again, we don't have that key right here, but we'll probably be able to replace it with the Google Assistant key that's running on the new Android version. Um, so if you guys don't want to use that, um, you can probably be just set if you want to run Android Assistant or if you want to run Bixby. I probably recommend Android Assistant, but I'll definitely be giving you guys a uh, quick heads up between the two to show you guys which one is actually more useful. But here it is. If you guys want the launcher and stuff, that stuff will be in the description below. But yeah. It's running. So as you just saw, we can get Bixby running on the S7 or S7 Edge, and it doesn't have full functionality now, but it is a good sign to show that we will probably be getting Bixby on earlier Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, an important thing to note here though, is that the S8 does have that dedicated Bixby button, so you're not going to have that on your earlier version on your S7 or S7 Edge, but if they do implement it, they'll probably just have you hold the home button and there'll be an option for you to use the Google Assistant or Samsung Bixby. But if you're waiting for this, then it's probably already on your phone right now. So if you want, you can, that's just another uh, thing that's similar to the S7 and the S8. So just another recap, just to show you guys that there is more in common with the S7 with the S8 than we thought. And with Bixby coming to the S7, most likely, that's just one more thing that you don't have to worry about. So that was just a quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said before, all of the links will be in the description if you guys wanna go ahead and load either the Bixby or just have that launcher in your phone to test it out. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to keep uh, pestering Samsung on Twitter to see if they can send me an S8. It's probably not gonna happen, but boy can dream.